Mega Masim Channel, good morning, fourth day of Bauma 2022. Today with us is Thomas Jordan. Thomas Jordan is the product manager uh, of Komatsu here in Germany on hydraulic excavators. Thank you very much, Thomas, for hosting us to your fantastic place. I was working uh, here for three days. I knew the reason, I imagined the reason, now I am here for the reason. Happy what, to have you here. <laughs> what are we going to see today? Yeah, first and foremost, welcome to our PC4000. So we are actually here at the Komatsu mining booth at Bauma 2022. And you're standing in front of the PC4000-11 electric machine. So it's one of our offerings that we do in the hydraulic excavator area for mining equipment. We as Komatsu Germany are producing this machine as one part of our product portfolio PC3000 up to PC8000, completely in Germany, actually. That's perfect. Can you say us uh, some specifications before, uh, we, well, before we go up? Yeah, let me maybe start with the bucket, actually. So you're standing in front of a 22 cubic meter face shovel bucket. So actually, in terms of specification, uh, we have different product offerings. This is now the face shovel, obviously. Uh, we also have all of our machines available in backhoe configuration. Um, and the most important and interesting thing is actually this machine allows you zero emission loading because we have a fully electrified powertrain here. That means an electric motor which is powering this machine and all its functionalities. Okay, some words about the footprint emission, the horsepower of the engine specifications like this? Yeah, so actually we have a rated power of around about 1,800 horsepowers here. And um, what's also very interesting uh, to, to know about the machine, it's fully electrical, as I said. So that is one, one good, uh, good thing in terms of carbon footprint reduction. So it allows you with a green energy mix in your mind side to do zero emission loading in the end. That's very interesting. So guys, I can't wait to go up to see the operator seat and uh, let Thomas describe whatever uh, mains remains for that uh, big uh, machine. Happy to guide you around. Wenn ihr richtig viel Power am Start 7200 Volt. Wenn Sie nachher mal Zeit und Lust haben, schauen Sie sich gerne mal das Stromkabel auf der anderen Seite an. Das ist schon ganz schön beeindruckend. We are uh, at the back of the machine. Thomas we have a fully electrified equipment here. That means somehow it needs to be powered, right? So we have a cable drum, which is actually having the cable on it, which is then plugged in into a substation right at the mine site or here at our frequency converter on the show. That means all electricity is coming through the cable to the machine to allow you then to operate the machine actually okay. with energy. <laughs> so the operator can control this cable from his seat, right? Actually, you don't need. It's a fully automated cable drum. So depending on the tension that you have on the cable, it will, of course, roll out or roll in. So that means you do not need to take care of the operator. And especially when you move backwards, there is a certain risk that you can run over the cable. But because of the tension control that we are having here, it allows you to smoothen it and allows you to prevent this kind of issue so that you have really good flexibility. <laughs> so <laughs> less problems in the operator's mind. Exactly, exactly. Fully, fully Making automated. Making operator's yeah. life easiest. Exactly. As we walk now upstairs, you see one of the key safety features that we have with our Dash 11 technology, a completely 45 degree access ladder. So please go ahead. Thank you very much. Up to the, up to the cabin level, you really have 45 degrees, so very comfortable to access and egress the machine. And when you take a look to the right hand side, you will have a look into our, our engine or in this way motor compartment, seeing our electrified engine with serrated capacity of 1,800 horsepowers. Okay, Thomas, after you, okay. Now, as we walk upstairs, Another safety feature that we have is our full rigid emergency egress system. That's also part of our, our idea. In case of any issue, you have a three egress possibilities. You can use either the access ladder or you have on the left hand and right hand side of the machine the possibility to egress the machine in case of any emergency. 
And let me maybe guide you into our cabin because that's probably one of the most interesting parts where I can describe certain features of the machine. Can I sit uh, up uh, here? Yeah, please or? take a seat at the trainer seat. Thank you very much. So one of the things that you see here inside the cabin is this screen. It's one of our safety features that we are offering. It's the so-called ComVision 360 degrees bird's eye view. So you can see it's a camera system. We have all around the machine cameras installed, which give you this bird's eye view. And now, as this is a touch screen, you have the possibility to select single cameras to get in the bottom area some further picture, some further images that will guide the operator, for instance, especially on his blind side, that he knows what is going on in that area of, of his view. So a VIP room of a rich hotel waits you up to the machine, right? Exactly, exactly. Fully understand, Nikolaus. <laughs> One more point that you see on the machine is here, down there, our Comtrex Plus system. It's actually capturing all relevant information that are required for the operator for operation and maintenance information. Does we have a, something like a media player for the operator to use his mobile phone or something like this? Absolutely, absolutely. Operator comfort is for us a very important thing. We have different offerings when it comes to the operator seat, but also for his, let's say, entertainment system, so that he feels comfortable, that, we f that he feels a little bit like being back at home and uh, yeah, having fun while doing the job. That's perfect, that's perfect. There are some more features, so the machine is actually prepared for that. You see some harnesses on the right hand and on the left hand side. They are actually on the left hand side, for instance, for our so-called Argos payload meter system. So this is displaying you the payload of each and every bucket in real time. So the operator understands what kind of payload you ha he has in the bucket. He gets a feedback of how much he already filled into the whole truck. So especially during the last pass, he knows how much remaining payload he can bring into the truck yeah. itself. He gets all the information he wants in order to operate. Exactly, and the most important thing in real time, that he can accordingly react to that. It's a little bit cold uh, here. What can we do for this? Yeah, so glad that you mentioned that. In the end, uh, no matter where our machines are located, if you're located in Arctic conditions, if you're located somewhere in the jungle where it's very hot, we have offerings with the cabin. That means either having an air conditioned system to have a very comfortable temperature that way, or cabin heaters to keep you also warm during winter time. I mean, we have machines operating in Arctic conditions down to minus 40, sometimes even minus 50 degrees Celsius. Okay, guys, I'm going to have my breakfast now. So. That's uh, all for today. Thank you, Thomas, very much. Thank you very much. You Glad very to have you here. You are really a pro. Thank you very much. I wish me to meet you in the next uh, Bauma. It was a uh, big pleasure. It was a big pleasure. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs>